Note, disclaimer. Before we start this video, please note that this is based on research, and these are allegations made by viewers from Reddit and his YouTube comments. The information is not factual and in no way intended to dent his reputation. He is a successful, hardworking, and respected YouTuber, and more power to him. We made this video to talk about some of the allegations made by his fans. The video does not condone bullying of any kind, so please do not go and leave negative comments on his channel. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get straight into it. Eric leads a larger-than-life lifestyle alongside his furry cat sidekicks, Opie and Tara, as they lead a completely nomadic lifestyle around the country, chasing the perfect 70-degree weather as he shares all of his adventures in the RV life on his YouTube channel. But does Eric share who he really is and what he gets to? Do we really know him? And is his life as perfect as his channel makes it out to be? Well, not so much and some allegedly creepy things are hidden in his closet. He may be taking his viewers and 232k subscribers through adventures in theme parks, national parks and museums, among other sites. And through these mostly historical sites, there's so much excitement involved. But his life is not as glamorous. Here's a peek into some of the darker things in his life. Allegedly a narcissist and an abuser. Despite having two cats he takes with him on his many RV trips around the country, Eric has been reported to be an alleged narcissist, an alleged hater of women, an alleged con man, and worse, an alleged animal abuser. Eric allegedly got a pizza delivery guy fired just because the poor guy had knocked over an empty trash can. This incident proves that he's allegedly not as nice a guy as we thought, by any standards, because that guy didn't deserve such treatment. I mean. It was an empty trash can. He also allegedly abuses women, as reported by his ex, Angela, whose life he allegedly completely messed up. And not just once. Like the allegedly inhumane, selfish, and uncaring man he is, Eric allegedly ditched Angela at a gas station, driving off and leaving her behind all by herself. While they may have had different opinions and prefer different lifestyles, that doesn't form the grounds for allegedly leaving your girl by the road. Even if you just had a terrible split, he's just an allegedly ishy person, period. As an allegedly typical narcissist, he's allegedly hated a lot, and honestly, that's what he gets for being an allegedly horrible person. While he may make things easier for himself that is not in his nature, and he just allegedly puts the blame on everyone else, and just never takes responsibility for his actions. For instance, he allegedly always blames other drivers on the road, while he is the one who is incompetent behind the wheel. There's also the fact that he allegedly showed no remorse when he sold an old piece of junk RV to an old couple. He called the RV a death trap that barely ran, yet he advertised that the RV was working well unapologetically. Days after the sale, he said the van was in a wrecking yard while it had been abandoned at the side of the road. He showed no remorse for his actions. His allegedly childish demeanor and passive aggressiveness make him an allegedly dangerous man as well. He is also, allegedly, a big con man, and he's reportedly stolen and ripped off different people on numerous occasions just for bumper stickers. And now he runs bigger cons. Eric is considered a quirky guy and though he's not smart, he tries to allegedly con anyone he can, including the individuals who leave positive comments on his videos, which is quite manipulative and sad. Thanks to the many scams he's pulled on his innocent viewers, Eric has had multiple run-ins with the criminal justice system, which should be discussed more because his dark side that affects many should be out in the limelight. In addition to the alleged criminal activities, most people don't know about his time in prison. Not to mention that he changed his name about three years ago in Washington state. For someone with a Patreon page who tries to hide his past activities, things like his felony record should be known by everyone especially because he keeps such important information hidden. Did you know that he's previously made a famous claim of being C.R. Boger, the writer of a TV jingle for a Washington state construction company? But all of it was a lie, and he pushed C.R. Boger out of business. He may also be an alleged pervert. Think about it. Which grown-ass man will drive his RV around amusement parks and parks with kids if allegedly he's not a man who may have had bad intentions? and perhaps all the cameras he sets up are for him to allegedly watch something else peculiar, other than people who are up to get him. And what's the deal with Eric's shadow banning people who comment on his YouTube? Especially the comments about his alleged abusive and inhumane side. 
While you may argue that he doesn't hurt his cats, the animals cannot defend themselves or speak up for themselves. But we don't think his cats are happy living in the RV. Go on to the Nomadic Fanatics YouTube channel and make a negative comment or maybe just critique him or give him negative speculation. Before you know it, you'll be blocked. This shouldn't be the case in an open space such as YouTube. Everyone should be allowed to share their comments. It may come off as bullying or harassment per the community guidelines, but when someone pulls down comments, blocks, or shadow bans commenters because of sharing their opinions, especially the negative ones, then there's no doubt that there is something he's hiding. Lastly, Eric allegedly drinks a lot and could easily be an alleged alcoholic who also smokes a lot, but tries to hide his bad habits from his viewers.